gentlemen, and first tonight, the football season is back on at Asbury Park High School. There was a forfeit last week. The team, though, now expected to play on Friday against Keyport amid these issues of player eligibility. Our right, Nick Medan is live tonight in Asbury Park. So, Nick, what changed here? Well, Brittany and Kurt, this is about paperwork. That, at least according to the Asbury Park superintendent, who says after a couple of days and closer look, it turns out some of the students in question actually qualify to play. Asbury Park is set to suit up 18 players on Friday when it hosts Keyport. That's just enough. It comes less than a week after forfeiting versus week wake. You just don't go from canceling a game on Friday to now miraculously having all the uh, things in order. He says there was a breakdown in the school systems. Credits were not up to date after summer classes. There was some piss poor preparation and there was some pain connected to that. Tonight, three students in question have been cleared. There's still a handful of others who have to sit. On the job a year, he says he held the news conference today to be as transparent as possible. But hours later, coaches told us to leave practice. The confusion comes as the state is slashing nearly $9 million in funding for the district. And the football team is already coming off a season of tumult. Its last coach was fired after he was found without his pants on, trespassing late night at the stadium with a woman. Adam says he first learned of the eligibility questions on Friday, hours before that first game. They couldn't verify credits in time, so he made the call to cancel. Me knowing and sending players to participate in the game when they weren't eligible and, you know, God forbid a player gets hurt. Now we're talking about injury, eligibility, cover up. This whole parking lot would be filled with cameras. So, Nick, it looks like they're going to be able to play Friday. What about the rest of the season? Well, Kurt, Adam says he's hopeful, of course, 18 players. That doesn't leave you much margin for, say, injuries. But, Kurt, it's also possible that more students could become academically eligible in the coming weeks.